Um, we, we, we know that today is a big day for the MPP, Manifesto Launch. What's, what's going to be so different from this manifesto that everybody should be looking out for? First of all, let me thank you for the opportunity and say hi to your cherished listeners. I mean, as you are aware, the MPP, we elected our flag bearer in November. And plus to that, he has actually promised Ghanaians a lot of issues. Today is the day that he's going to actually invade it into the public for Ghanaians to digest, for Ghanaians to actually look at it and vote for us to break the eight in 2024 general election. That is why we are here this morning. What's the game changer? What is going to be different? In 2016, the current president came in with an agenda to do free SHS um, and a number of other policies, which for a no number of you have been accomplished. What is going to be the continuity for his vice, who is now the current flag bearer of the MPP? Yeah, the president that the vice president has been in the affair of this country for the past eight years. And the vice president, as the manager of the economy or the economic management team as a chairman, he knows what is actually left for them to accomplish in our a previous manifesto and we are going to enhance on the past eight years what we are able to do and if you can recall in UPS Vice President atomized about 50 uh, things that he is going to do for Ghanaians. One is to train about one million youth in IT and promise that he is going to give a free education to uh, those uh, disabled people. Now today NDC is also promising that he will give uh, I mean, free tertiary I mean, fees to a first-year student. But we believe that MPP is a beacon of development. If you go to some of the consequences, especially I'm from a typical village or a typical consequence, say we are contemporary in the western north. And I can tell you, if you look at the development and what has actually transpired in the past eight years, it's a marvelous thing. And I believe that Ghanaians are going to actually believe and buy into this particular manifesto today. You believe this is going to be the game changer for December 7? Yes, yes, I believe so. Yes, and you know, we have done some before. It's not like uh, we promise and we don't deliver. The Free Senior High School you mentioned, of, uh, we promised in 2016. Some of our uh, opponents, I mean, actually, did about 40 adverts against it, that it would not be possible. But we believe that in all things, we can do it. Mm -hmm.